Hey guys and welcome back to the Tottenham career mode on the back of a very depressing FA Cup exit uh, thanks to Arsenal by the way, our rivals who knocked us out. We've only got a good three episodes left in season one including this one and in order to get only three episodes out of this I'm going to play four games in today's episode. Liverpool and Manchester United of course I will play, in between you've got Swansea and Bournemouth just Oh, absolutely no time to rest in between. I'm going to use a weak side. I'm going to sim the two games. So we'll have four games now, three games in the next episode, including Chelsea, and then two games for the final episode of season one uh, with, well, inclusion of a squad report going over all the stats and results and how we did this season. I'm probably going to start a second season because you guys seem to enjoy it. But now it's time to head into the first game of the episode against Liverpool and hopefully pick up a three points because the BPL is all we've got left and we're actually doing all right. This is a side for the game against Liverpool at Anfield. Danny Rose is back from his injury. That's good news. Our first choice left back is in the team. Tielemans is replacing Dembele, who's horribly out of form. Our centre backs are not looking great, but Timo Horn is in fantastic form. Hopefully Hulk and Berahino can get past Simon Mignolet and we can get the win here at Anfield. I doubt we'll be able to beat Simon Mignolet from this far out, but Yuri Tielemans has got some fantastic shot power and some half decent free kick stats. Maybe he's the man for this job. I'm going to go for the power free kick. Yuri Tielemans! Oh my god! What a finish! What a goal by Yuri Tielemans! I think that's genuinely the first time I've not put Eriksen on a free kick on that side. That's for a right footer. And it's always Christian Eriksen. But Tielemans could be a good shout. He beats his Belgian teammate for the national side, Simon Mignolet, just in a stunning way. Look at that. Just. He gets a hand to it, Mignolet, but it's just too powerful and that's where the shot power comes into play. We're in the lead here at Anfield. There we go, we're going into half-time, leading 1-0. I don't think there was much to show you other than the free kick from Yuri Tielemans that went in. It's been a pretty dominant game from Liverpool when it comes to possession, but when it comes to chances, not a single shot on target for them and we only had the free kick. Double change, Townsend and Wimmer are coming off for Kyle Walker and Clinton. Jose Enrique, oh what a turn, good save, first shot on target for Liverpool, we're not getting rid of it properly, but Timo Horn of course is there to make the save unnecessary. Oh that was poor defending by Kyle Walker, we got away with that one, Sturridge can't get it on target, it's a corner though, but Kyle Walker, what was that? Well done by Berahino, Clinton flicks it past Moreno, he can play through Berahino, Berahino to Hulk, Hulk for 2-0, and I've missed... Chadley into Eriksen, Eriksen into Hulk. We've got room on the counter-attack here. We've got a man on the back post. I'm going to look for Christian Eriksen instead. Eriksen now into Berahino. And Berahino should and does make it 2-0 in extra time. They went all out attack. It was just a matter of time before we made that second goal. Or they could score, of course, the 1-1. But it didn't pan out that way. We make it 2-0 and it's game over. And there we go. That's the end of the game. A 2-0 win does do wonders for our confidence. We have been a bit... Annoyed by uh, the Arsenal games that we play in the FA Cup, but we haven't let our Premier League performances suffer because I feel like we kind of deserve to win 2-0. They have only had one shot on target from Jose Enrique, their left back, so um, we definitely had the better of the chances. A bit more uh, training here today for a few of the young guys, Harry Kane and Horn getting an A. A lot of stats are going up actually. Timo Horn is halfway through uh, the rating once again. He's almost 82. Well, it's time to sim two games now in two days' time, and the squad does not look great. This is the team I've put out there. Bentaleb has to play Cam, Pritchard and Clinton on the wings, Kane and Son up front. You, Vekovic in defence, Walker-Peters in right-back is just a weak side overall, and we could potentially drop points here. But playing with an unfit side is something I hate about FIFA this year, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sim it. Hopefully we can get some result. I mean, it's at White Hart Lane. You're expecting something. At least a point. I'm going to skip in 3, 2, 1. No, we lost. We actually lost against 10 men as well. Disappointing. It's Aston Villa all over again. And as you may have guessed, it's going to get even worse for the Bournemouth game. This is a side we've got Clinton and Kane up front. Onoma and Cam. Ward and CDM. I mean, just a horrible side, really. And Bournemouth, although they aren't the strongest side either, they could potentially really ruin our title chances this season. I mean... Top four in itself is a fantastic achievement for the Spurs, but we're so close to Manchester United that I'm hoping we'll get a win and we'll have a say in the title debate. Bournemouth at White Hart Lane, Ward getting injured, Townsend giving us the lead, get in. That's what we want to see when we're getting booked though. I'm going to skip in three, two, one. Ah, Wimmer, why have you... Oh my god, 88 minute equaliser, 10 men, heartbreaking. 
Alright guys, with six games to go, these are the BPL League tables. We are on top, but we've played two more games than Manchester United. They're level on points with us, so we have to play them next. If we want to potentially challenge for the title in these final six games, we have to beat them. It's as simple as that. If we lose, then the lead is just going to be impossible to catch up to. Chelsea are pretty close to us as well. If they win their game in hand, they're above us. But all we need to do right now is beat Manchester United. I'm not even sure if it's at Old Trafford or White Hart Lane. It's probably at Old Trafford, so it's going to make it even more challenging. But this... No, it's White Hart Lane again for the third game in a row. This is the game of the season. We need to win. We've only got the BPL to play for. The biggest game of the season is upon us. And this is the side I've picked. We lost to them at the start of this season uh, due to a Carl Walker own goal. Hopefully history won't repeat itself. It's a pretty strong side here. Um, Tielemans is coming in for Dembele, who's out of form. But uh, other than that, you know, you can see the side is way stronger than the sides we played against uh, Swansea and Bournemouth. I'm expecting every, every single player on this pitch to give it their best shot and hopefully we can get the win. Let's go. I've said it before, if we lose, it's over and top four is probably going to be where we finish uh, in the tables this season. But if we win, there are possibilities. It's simple. If we lose, season's over. If we win, we're still in it. Bastian Schweinsteiger been given too much space here. He might pull the trigger. No, he threads it through. But Timo Horn once again. Oh, why are we so shit with clearing the ball? Carl Walker looking for Yuri Tielemans who's going to pull the trigger. It's a decent shot. And Val there struggled. Yuri Tielemans, another long shot. Good save again. Oh, poor defending there. Wayne Rooney has been given so much space and room. But Timo Horn with yet another save of the season. And once again, we can't clear the ball. There we go, half-time, nil-nil at White Hart Lane so far. Tottenham have looked the slightly better side, although Timo Horn had to pull off some amazing saves to keep it at nil-nil. We both had our chances. They had the possession, we had the shots, although most of them were from long range. I am tempted to bring off Townsend due to his fitness, but then again, the options on the bench aren't quite too fit either. But I'm going to try it. Son is coming on for Townsend. We're going to go for the win. A draw is not enough. Well played here, Ander Herrera, turning, finding Wayne Rooney, Wayne Rooney inside, Timo Horn is just unbeatable. Oh no, what have you done, Jan Vertonghen of all people, Ander Herrera now through, Trippier has been done for pace, and he tried to pass it off, not sure why, and the chance has gone, seven minutes to go, still looking for that goal, that, but to be honest, the second half has been all Man United. Ander Herrera has just walked through me, Timo Horn has to make yet another save. It looks like we're going to go into uh, injury time at 0-0. And with two minutes on the clock, I can't see it happening. Horn claims it well, though. He throws it out. It's Hulk. Maybe this is the moment for Hulk. Can the story continue for Tottenham? No, it can't. Because Hulk has just been absolutely useless lately. It's a 0-0 draw. And I think... That is the title challenge wrapped up. Manchester United on their way to win the BPL. Excellent performance by Timo Horn yet again. We haven't had a shot in the second half. Been very disappointed. Maybe I should have played Kane. I'm not sure. But Manchester United were just too strong here. Some more training drills. I'm absolutely gutted that we couldn't win the game. But I can't complain. We just weren't good enough. Some stats going up there for Timo Horn, Berahino and Son. Good training session overall. And that's where we're going to end the episode, guys. We've already seen what awaits us in the next episode. Stoke was Bromwich and Chelsea. Now it's just the job to get as many points as possible to finish as high as possible. I don't think we're going to win the title. As you can see, Manchester City have one game in hand and United have got two games in hand on us. Chelsea as well. So potentially we can drop down to fourth. Hoping to finish at least third by the end of this season. But we'll find out soon enough. I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.